Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you're new here and I do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you like the content, I hope you subscribe and do all the YouTube things. But I'm going to jump right into it. So I kind of want to do an eyeshadow palette bingo today with the three Ensley Rain Cosmetics palettes that I own, which I have the Lands of Enchantment and I have Cold Moon and I have Harvest Moon. So I thought it would be kind of be fun to do like an eyeshadow palette bingo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one eyeshadow from each palette and kind of see what I get and then if I feel like I need a little bit more I'll do one more from each but usually like seven six to seven is like my max eyeshadows I ever use in a look normally I stick to like four five four is usually my sweet spot so we'll do three if I end up needing to do more based off of what we get then I'll do one more from each and then that'll just have to be what I do so I have the random number generator pulled up. Uh, I'm gonna pick from Harvest Moon and Cold Moon first, which both have 21 in them. So I'm going to do those. And then I'm going to also, you know, do from like left to right here, um, just so you know how I'm kind of counting. And then the same with the bigger one that has 25, it's still gonna be the same, I'm counting you know, this, oh gosh, dug my finger into that one. Uh, I'm counting this way down. So let's just do it. So I'm gonna do Harvest Moon first, one through 21, and I got 15. I'm writing these down too in case I forget. So seven, 14, okay, I got a mat. <laughs> uh, and that is Pumpkin Patch, so that's our first one. Then from Cold Moon, I got six. Oh, <laughs> another mat. Uh, so I got the Cool Tone Brown, which I mean, they go well together. <laughs> uh, the brown and the orange, but no, uh, no shimmers at the moment. Okay, turn this to 25, because the big pal has 25, and I got 25. No! Okay, another mat. And like, does it go with it? Yes, but do I really wanna use it with these colors? Um, no. So, I can't use these palettes and not use a shimmer. That just seems like a sin. So, I'm going to go through them and do again, same order, so I'm gonna do Harvest Moon, change this back to 21. Let's hope I don't get <laughs> anything else that's like crazy because this might end up being a disaster. Okay, 18. Another mat. Um, oh God. I might have to do one look on one eye and one look on another if uh, this ends up being this bad. Oh, and I wasn't even writing them down either. Well, it's fine. I will hopefully be able to figure it out. Okay, cold moon, I got nine. Seven, eight, okay. Okay, one shimmer at least. This this will save us. Um, Saturnalia, I don't know how you pronounce it really, but has like a purpley base and then it has holo in it and it also has like a greeny gold flip. It's like that purpley pink base, the greeny gold flip to it. Okay, at least we have one shimmer and it's beautiful. Okay. Let's hope we get one more in Land of Enchantment. I mean, okay, turn this to 25. 16. No. Oh wait, yeah, 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 that's good, that's good. <laughs> one more shimmer, Lunar Light, which is like that lavender purple with the really white gold um, shimmer and flip to it. So this is what I got. Um, shimmers that I got are beautiful, but this is more warm tone and that's more cool next to each other. Um, and then that's the mattes, which is interesting. So I normally just come up with a look on the fly on camera, but I'm honestly going to go off camera and just think about this for a minute because I want to actually create something that looks really pretty and not 
absolutely hectic and crazy looking. So I will be back in a minute with some type of thought on this and then I will just get started. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Uh, I looked at it, can't really figure out what to do because the orange is throwing me off. Like if I didn't have that, they go together pretty well, but the orange is definitely misplaced and I don't know what to do. So I'm honestly just going to dive in and see if I can figure something out. <laughs> Might not be the best idea, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take pumpkin patch, which is the orange. I'm gonna keep it kind of in the front half here um, of my eye in the crease and a little above the crease and just kind of keep it up here. I don't want it to drag like too far out. I don't want it to go too far over. This is just kind of where I'm keeping. I'm not letting it go further over than this. So, yeah, let's do that first and then kind of go from there. <laughs> I don't know. This might not end up being a very good look. Uh, I might end up having to refilm this and do a different idea. I guess I will see. I should have maybe just stuck with the three mats and did like an all matte look or something. <laughs> Would have been kind of boring, but like, would have maybe been better than how this is turning out so far. But I guess I will just have to see. So, yeah, the orange is the only thing that's really throwing me off with this because it's like the only one that doesn't really go. Because it has the most warmth to it. But. I will. See an attempt to figure it out. Just like lightly building that. Trying to get this side to. Match. But, okay, just slightly blending and buffing and trying to get them laid in the exact same spot. Okay, then I'm going to take Chili, which was the other mat that I got and the second option I got from Harvest Moon. And I'm gonna then keep that, I'm just gonna use the same brush for just dusting off the excess of pumpkin patch. And I'm gonna put chili in the outer half out here and kind of like merging them together. Just buffing. And the crease and above the crease, just like I did with pumpkin patch, but keeping it out here. I'm merging them a little bit in the center just to blend them, but not doing much just because it'll probably just turn to like a muddy like gray brown situation when they go together if you can hear that barking that is a puppy we are watching for my brother's girlfriend and he's just mad that he's in the pen right now but he's only in the pen because my husband is changing our daughter and he cannot be trusted it's like a good size pen he can run around he's got toys in there it's like you know he has plenty of room in there he's just mad because he wants to run around outside of it but he can't be trusted you take him out to go to the bathroom and then he still thinks that he needs to pee and poop inside the house as well. So unless he's being watched, he really can't be out on his own. And like I said, my husband is changing our daughter, so he can't be out at the moment. But, okay. So have that blended out. 
brushing the excess off. I'm gonna kind of just blend this a little bit more. Just wanna make sure it's really blended and not just kind of sitting out there. Okay, do the same on this side. Slowly building it up, blending it out. I really don't know where I'm gonna go now from here. I have those two like deeper shadows. I don't know. This look, I have a feeling is not going to be a success. <laughs> it's gonna be weird, if anything. I don't know if I should use the two deeper shadows on the lid or if I should use one with one of these other shades on the lower lash line or what I should do. I don't really know. I don't really know what to do here. It's just a very weird, I was hoping for something more I was honestly hoping for more shimmers than mattes and like having to do more of like a shimmer heavy look because I feel like that would have been able to mesh better than this. I was honestly shocked I got so many mattes. I mean these palettes are shimmer heavy and to get four mattes and only two shimmers is kind of shocking and also disappointing. <laughs> But I was really hoping to get more shimmers because I could have done more with that, I feel. But, do what you gotta do. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with these two deeper shades. Because I don't really know... I don't want to just use them one on top of the other because I feel like like up on the lid because I kind of feel like that's like a cop out a little bit but I also don't know what else I would do with them so definitely interesting looks so <laughs> it just looks weird okay that was our two shades from harvest moon now let's see what to do with the rest of these. Um, I think I'm gonna take Edge of Night, which was the dark blue that I got from the Lands of Enchantment. And I am going to lightly Put that in the outer corner out here to deepen it up a little bit and to bring in that blue. I'm not gonna use that mirror because it's kind of fogged over. And like even this blue doesn't really go with this chili color, which is like a cool tone, like purpley gray type color. <laughs> so like even these don't really go together. I should have used the brown with this color, I guess. Like I almost feel like it kind of looks muddy now. Like it turned like a gray color out here like a muddy gray from these two colors not really mixing well I thought they'd be okay but I should have probably taken the cool tone brown I got from cold moon and mixed it with this out here probably would have turned out better Just taking that last brush and just kind of, no excess product, but taking this a little bit more blending the edges of that together. I 
I don't think that really looks the best, but committed now, so I gotta do it on this side. Oh boy. Definitely not going the way I wanted. Maybe next time I'll do, a, I'll do a palette bingo, but instead of using all three of these, I'll only use two of them. <laughs> but I wanted to use all three because it's like, these are the three I own from the brand. So I kind of wanted to do a palette bingo with all three. And I do think the three palettes go together really well, but like, not necessarily all of the mattes meshing together it's more of like even some of the shimmers from the palettes mesh with some of the other mattes and like vice versa that type of way but it doesn't just because i think the palettes will go together well doesn't mean i think that all of the mattes mesh well together <laughs> and this is clearly evidence that they don't Again, this is that first brush, no excess product, just kind of blending the edges a little bit. I don't know why it looks like there's like a blank spot out here. I think it's just my skin and like a natural crease. Let's see, now that that's kind of like a muddy, crazy mess. Oh God, I really don't know what to do with that dark brown. I think I'm gonna put it, I'm kind of going for like a weird halo eye maybe or something. I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what else to do because these I don't want to just cop out and like put the brown on top or like put it anywhere weird or like only have it on the lower lash line if you know what I mean but like this is turning into a chaotic mess but I'm gonna take the brown and I'm just gonna lightly deepen this orange with it in the crease and maybe a little above the crease too might be a look where I end up putting shimmer all over the lid including in the outer corner which I don't normally do but it might it might be my only way to save this from complete disaster but I think it's still gonna look weird okay have that but I'll end up going back into the orange I think just because I do you feel like I lost a little bit of it? Like it's still there, but I feel like I lost a little bit of it doing this. Dragged it up a little too high. I'll do the same on this side and then I'll re-intensify the orange just on the edge. This stinks because the look I filmed yesterday turned out so cute. <laughs> I look insane. It turned out so cute and it was so pretty. And then to like turn around and do something like this the next day is just. I think I'm also just not in the mind space for this. I'm pretty tired today. And to come in here and like attempt to figure out a look. And looking at it and knowing that I wasn't really getting anything off of it, but I was like, I'm still just gonna go for it because I needed to film today, but I'm so tired. <laughs> I've not been sleeping well. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the orange with that first brush and just kind of go over the edge of this just to make sure the orange is so kind of there. Not crazy or anything, but just 
making sure that that's blended and the orange is still kind of there. Same on this side. Maybe the shimmers will save it and it will end up somehow looking beautiful. I mean, I am very doubtful, but maybe I will be proven wrong. Okay. So that's, it's like you can see that there's the orange there, but it's not like super intense or anything. Hold on a second, I have to look at this. So you can still see the orange, like it's there, but it's not super intense. And then I'm gonna clean this brush off. I'm just gonna dip back into Chili, that purple from this palette, just a little bit, just to make sure that that purple is still kind of like that grayish purple and not like a muddy gray mess from that blue. Just to kind of take the muddy look away and just go back to that pretty like gray purple. Did it help? Maybe a little. I really don't know. I'm kind of just... I might just block this look out from my memory here when I'm all done. Okay. Those look about the same. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Then the shimmers. The part that I think will save us here, if anything, will save us. So I'm going to take Saturnalia. I really don't know how to say that. Which was the first shimmer that has that like bluey purple. Well, more like a purpley pink base. And then it has that greeny gold flip and the holo in it. And I'm going to put that in the outer area here. And I also think I'm gonna put it over the dark blue. The depth will still come through, but I think it'll look really pretty on top of that deeper matte. And like the depth will still come through looking forward, but it'll make the shimmer look different out here because it will pull different on that deep base. I actually just think it will look really pretty on top of that dark blue because it has that bluey pink, or that purpley pink base, which really what's coming through next to these colors is that greeny gold flip that it has. But that looks really pretty. Same on this side, and I'm leaving the front open at an angle, because that's where I'm gonna put the other shimmer. Oh, my camera's gonna flip, so, okay. I'm back. This is taking a long time because I'm just so like didn't know what to do and then trying to somewhat do a decent look here. Okay. The shimmer is really pretty. It's so sparkly, but all of the shimmers from Ensley Rain are so sparkly and beautiful. I think they really have perfected the holo. Like, I think their holos are so beautiful and so well done. I don't know. I've had holos from other brands before, and they just did not perform the way these ones did. Like, you couldn't see the holo at all, and these are like, it's definitely there. Okay, then going to Lands of Enchantment for the last shade that I got, which was Lunar Light. And I'm going to tuck that into this spot that was left open. And it goes in the front, and then I left it open kind of like up a little bit, like I said, at that angle. So I'm going to tuck that in and kind of do that. And then I'll kind of just layer that there and mesh it with the other shade that was laid down, making sure they blend at the edge. You can definitely see this shadow there because it gives that silvery, it looks silver next to this. 
but it's not like crazy difference. If that makes sense. Okay. okay. Those look the same. I think so. Okay. Do I think this look is beautiful? Uh, no. Do I think it's the worst one I've ever done? No. I've had worse palette mangoes. <laughs> uh, but we'll see what it looks like when I actually like go off camera here real quick, clean up, do the rest of my makeup, and see how it pulls together in the end. So I'll be back. Okay, this is the finished look. I don't think it looks horrible. <laughs> I don't think it's like the best eyeshadow look I've ever done. I don't think it's like one that I would want to recreate like a lot of the other ones that I pick. But I do think, you know, I got it to somewhat work. Have this like pop of warmth in the front with the cool tones in the outer. And then the shimmers all over the lid look really pretty and like the dark blue is still coming through, but with the shimmer on top of it, it just enhances it and makes it look really beautiful. I'll zoom in and show you the look up close. Um, but yeah, that was my palette bingo with six shadows from my Ensley Rain palettes, two from each. And yeah, I mean, I think it looks okay, but it's not like, <gasps> like the most amazing thing or like as good as some of my other eyeshadow palette bingos or near as good as other people's eyeshadow palette bingos that you see. But I think it still turned out okay. So let's just zoom in and look at it and then we'll be done. So this is the look. I took the lighter shade that I got from the Lands of Enchantment, the shimmer, and that's what is in the inner corner. But yeah, this is the look. The All the shadows put together on the lid and the crease above the crease, the different mattes, the shimmers everywhere. I think they look pretty that one shimmer that's from the cold moon palette is so pretty like i think you can see on this side when i'm turned this way like that purpley pink base but then next to these shadows that green gold reflect is really pulling through and then i don't know if you can see the holo but there is definitely holo as well sometimes it's hard to know if the camera picks it up but usually Ensley Rain's eyeshadows, the holos are usually so good that you can see it on camera. So hopefully you guys can see the holo. But then that like um, lilac purple with the like white gold shimmer, which looks more silver next to this like green gold and the very front there. So I think it looks pretty. I wouldn't say like I said this is like the best look ever or anything like that but I do think it turned out nice like and it does look pretty and everything and you know just blended and things like that but yeah I wouldn't say this is like a smashing success but I like it and I think I'll do a palette bingo again but next time I'm going to use like just two of the palettes and kind of see how it goes and try to do four shades with just two of the palettes and kind of like mix and match which ones I pair together and everything and do palette bingos to where I use like these two together and then I use these two together and then I use these two together. <laughs> so yeah, I think that will be fun and something I kind of do, you know, down the road eventually some point in time I'll kind of do those. I do palette bingos every once in a while, but yeah, this is the look. <laughs> I usually say I hope you guys like it or would like to know what you think, but I mean, it's not my best, so I don't know if you would like it at all. But yes, and next, the next couple weeks are pre-film videos. I had to pre-film just because I'm gonna be a little busy. Um, next Friday videos, my Tuesdays are always pre-filmed a ways out. But the next few Friday videos are pre-filmed as well, and I think I have some pretty cute looks in those ones, especially like my Valentine's Day look. I think it came out really cute. So I hope you guys tune into those and I will see you next week with other videos. Thanks. Bye.